Hi, this is Ankush and in this video I want to talk about how do we evaluate what are the right projects for us, right? Like what could be ways to evaluate projects and also we'll talk about seven different web development project ideas that I believe will be amazing for you to learn a lot as well as will look great on your resume, it will really set your resume apart. Okay, so we'll talk about a framework to evaluate projects and these project ideas as well. So please stick around till the end of the video and you will get to know all of this. Perfect. So first of all, let's talk about how do we evaluate if something is a good project idea or not. So I think the first thing we need to understand is we need to understand what sort of technology or what sort of skill set does it require to complete this project. For example, if you don't know backend yet and you don't want a backend project, you want just front end project. So you need to evaluate a project idea from that perspective that will how will I manage the backend of it? Like, will I be able to do it or not? Also, you should not pick up something which is too easy for you, right? You have already built two, three projects. Now you want something harder. So you need to evaluate on the basis of what sort of skill sets are required as well as whether uh, this is hard enough or not. Okay. So that I think is the first thing. Second is uniqueness, right? Like we should not build something that almost everybody will have, right? Like if your project is going to be, let's say a library management system, which you believe almost all of your batchmates are going to write as well, then let's try to do something more unique. So I think along with the how difficult it is or how easy it is, we should also look at how unique it is. And I think the third and a very, very important part that almost nobody will have in their resume, do evaluate when you are picking up a project that if you deploy this project, will you be able to get actual users for this, right? Any project that you write in your resume, which has actual users is valued 10 times more than any other project. Nobody in your uh, around you in your circle will have projects which actually have real users. So if you can write about a project which has actual users, that is absolutely brilliant. That's absolutely sets you apart. So please try and do that. Okay, so first of all, how hard it is or how easy it is? Does it require all the skills that you want to build it upon? Second, how unique it is? Third, if you actually deploy it, will you get actual users or not? Right? So these are three things that you should evaluate any project idea. Now let's talk about before we get to the actual projects, let's talk about what are the few things that you should always keep in mind when you are looking at a project? What is the right mindset? Right? First of all, make sure that you go till the end. That means don't just stop at building it, actually deploy it. Make sure that you actually put it out there. Any project which has an actual link, which has an actual, if it's an Android app, which has a Play Store link, or if it's a website, it has a URL uh, in your resume, that is extremely valuable. So please try and do that. It's very hard for any recruiter to not click on that and actually see that what is it that the person has made. Right. So they really want to see that. So make sure that you are able to put that URL in that. So that is one thing. Make sure that you go till the end. Second, don't just stop at launching. Right. I know you are a builder, right? Like you like tech, but you have built it. Now go one extra mile, find actual users for this, right? Do a little bit of marketing, make your family friends use it. And that is extremely important because of the third step that when we are actually working on any project, what we really should do is make sure that we get some user feedback and then improve it, right? Because that is what really is required when you're working in industry. So if you want your project experience to actually emulate what will happen in industry, you should get those actual users. And once you have those actual users in the third step, make sure that you do few iterations, improve your project on basis of whatever your users are saying. Right. That's really going to make you learn a lot. Okay. So these are three things that you should keep in mind. We have to go till the end. We need to make sure that we get actual users and we need to make sure that we are iterating on basis of the user feedback as well. Perfect. Now let's jump into these project ideas. Like out of these seven, I've tried to maintain, like I have to try to suggest three front end projects and four projects which will require a full stack knowledge. Okay. So in terms of the front end projects, I think one project that we should all consider doing is building a game. Just because building a game can be a lot of fun automatically means that you're like your, your chances of actually completing it is far higher 
right you will be able to deploy it easily and you will be able to get few people to use it so it really just uh, ticks all of our points in terms of it's a front end project which requires a deep understanding of javascript right like uh, so any sort of game you make will require a decent amount of javascript effort from your side so it's hard right it's it's pretty like it's not too hard but it's decently hard so that's really good second i think any game that you make you will be able to give it your own touch right you will be make it be able to make it a little more unique right and the third point is that you will be able to get actual users for this so try to build a game like for example you can build a 2048 you can build a tetris game you can build a snake game or you can you can think of like something like some other game right like which not a lot of people are creating so you can find some absurd game and try to make a uh, front end project using that right i think that's something that really really is exciting and generally all of us love games so when you write a game in your project likelihood of somebody actually clicking it trying to like playing it becomes higher so i think building a game is something that you should definitely explore second project idea so when we are building front end project that means we don't want to build the back end but does not mean that we cannot use a back end that somebody else has built so for example there is a movies db uh, back end which you can use to create your own IMDb sort of website you can create your own movie recommender or you want to compare between whether Mirzapur is good or Sacred Games is good right like so you can build something as cool as that or you can use ESPN Cricket Info provide some sort of JSON uh, details for every match you can create some sort of front end which compares like cricketers which compares to different matches or which gives a lot of information around that so we don't have to use the back end we don't have to build the back end but we will use some existing apis from some company to build a front end project right the beauty of this is it will be a complete project in the sense that your front end will be talking to back end it's just that you don't have to build that back end somebody else has built it for you so i think that's something that you should definitely explore okay uh, again uh, i think it takes all the three things it will require you to work upon all different types of uh, things that you have to do in front end it will also sort of uh, make sure that it's a little unique in the sense that not a lot of people think from this perspective so they are able to like you are able to complete a uh, like build a complete project without actually building the back end right and you will be able to get actual users if you think the idea is cool you will be able to convince people around you to basically actually start using it third i think you can build a music player or a video player does not require a back end the user can just give some music from their local system and you build a music player where there are playlists where there are um, like you have an option to skip you have an option to like do a lot of interesting stuff within a music player right like you can make really cool ui uh, right like like some sort of beats going up and down you can do all of that and i think that's going to be an amazing front end project you can again explore uh, that if you are able to find let's say gana.com or like some other sort of api provider using which you can get data of or the music from some service as well that's something that you can explore but i think the ui itself can be really 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 cool for a music player right so you can definitely try and explore that so i think these are three front end projects which i believe are going to be extremely uh, good looking on your resume and will really set your resume apart try to build try to give it your own flavor right that's very very important now let's come to four project ideas for a full stack uh, sort of project that we want to build one project that i recommend to everybody uh, that you should think about doing uh, is find a friend or somebody in your family who owns a business and build an e-commerce uh, website for them now the beauty of this is that because there is a business which is already running and can really benefit from what you are doing your motivation to complete it right and once you complete it their motivation to actually deploy it and make sure that people are actually using it because they have business benefit out of it is extremely high will look very very unique because you have something which is actually running which is something actually people are using will look extremely good on your resume building an e-commerce website can be really really challenging as well as satisfying from technical perspective 
right you will have to from the front end perspective you will have to look at how do, how does the cart work how does everything like checkout process work right like how to show comparison between products you might want to build that on the back end there as like you have to manage the logistics like the the person running the business should be able to know that what sort of people are like what sort of orders are coming in whether they are getting delivered on time or not right so it will be pretty interesting and a good project uh, to make sure that your all your skills actually get amplified you are learning a lot and along with that the idea that you need to get actual users sort of gets transferred to somebody else because they are already running the business they will find the actual users for you i absolutely think that this is going to be something absolutely brilliant right now uh, what else right like so another project idea uh that i can think of here in full stack is going to be building either cloning some social media website or building something like for a unique proposition for example let's say you love cricket right why not build a youtube sort of a platform uh for just cricket videos for amazing cricket so curated it's not like any sort of random content is there you are curating sort of content that comes on to your website and just cricket sort of content right something or maybe let's say we build a social platform a uh, social media platform for painters for developers right uh, so try to build something uh, the good part about social media website there is a lot and lot that you can do you can stop at just building profiles you can go ahead and build like and comment you can go ahead and build some sort of recommender there is so much you can do and i think like i've seen some projects from students who have really gone ahead and like built something really really cool that people were actually ready to use so try to think of something that your friends and family would like and and just go ahead and build that from a social media website perspective okay perfect so the third idea here is going to be uh that build something that you or your friends need right uh so let's say you guys want a way to maintain books right so some sort of an online library that you want to build or let's say you want to uh i have seen few people building it really really well which is like uh, note sharing or people selling old books other people buying it right or you building something like a uh expense manager where you are basically splitting expense between people right like so these are sort of ideas the beauty of these ideas is that you need it right and as soon as you need it or your friends need it you build it and as soon as like you do that you will have actual users you understand the customer problem really well so you will be able to build a really cool project so so far uh, i've talked about three project ideas for the back end and the fourth one i think is is really it can be really really rewarding when you are doing this try to do something as per the current state of the world around you what will happen with these projects right so for example you you know that like currently uh, people are not able to find resources uh, for covid right like covid related uh, resources like oxygen or anything else you want to build a website where people are able to help each other or you want to build a website like some elections are going on in some state you want to build something around like uh, sentiments from twitter are coming in there you're also like some sort of news whatever is news is happening you're able to put all of that at one place now the beauty of these projects is that there is a very very strong trend strong uh, sort of requirement from everybody around you and in the world that there is a high chance if you deploy it right now there is a high chance that you will get a lot of traffic on your website so you will learn a lot you will get that traffic and you will be able to actually help in something and because it's something that is going on around us your motivation to complete it and your sort of chances to get a lot of users improve it right like you will learn a lot within a very short span of time obviously there is a problem with this that it can be short lived uh 3 months later it might not be that useful but you can try to make it a little more generic right like in the sense that any sort of election that happens that you can build uh for this website so currently it's uh, useful only because there are elections in one place but 3 months later a month uh, six months later there will be elections in some other place so the same thing can be used there or something around that so build something using current affairs in mind as i said earlier i have tried to evaluate all these projects on the basis of i actually thought of like uh, some 30 35 project ideas then i sort of evaluated all of them on the basis of uh, technically they should be at a right place so that you learn all of it 
uh, but it's not too hard. Uh, second, that they should be unique, uh, right? Like all of these projects, once you do it, they, although they might like somebody else might do it, but they'll be very, very different because the perspective, when you're building a game, somebody else building a game, you guys might come up with something very, very different, right? So, and the third thing is basically, I've tried to imagine in all of these that you will be able to get those actual users. It's not something which will just stay on your computer and nobody else uses, okay? So I hope uh, that I was able to help in terms of getting you think about these project ideas. Now you might want to think of some other project ideas. That's absolutely fine, but do try to evaluate using the three points that I talked about in earlier and do keep in mind the points around you need to complete it. You need to get those actual users and you need to make sure that you're iterating on your website to make it better, right? Perfect. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like the video and do share it with your friends. If you have any questions, please ask in the comment box. Thank you.